Hello, in this video we will create a scene with indoor lighting. This is a follow along tutorial, so I encourage you to follow along with me. So I've now started with a default Blender file and um, I'm going to convert this into a room. So to do so, let's just um, scale it up to be the size of what you think a room would be. It doesn't have to be the same scale as me, but generally rule of thumb, let's, I'm just pressing 5 just to move into orthogonal mode. Uh, rule of thumb is uh, one of these boxes is about a meter and the, and the height of a room is about three meters usually. So I'm just going to go into tab mode, uh, click this to enable ghost mode so I can see through the back of the object and press A, press A again and then box select by pressing B and then left click dragging to select all the top vertices and then grab Z to move it around three units high, so about three meters high. And about the left and right, I don't care too much, I'm just making that up. Okay, so we have our room, or maybe this side as well, and this side as well. Okay, so we have our room. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to create two windows, or maybe three windows. Yeah, let's create three windows. So I want to have a window here, a window here, and a window here. Ignore that. I don't know why it keeps giving me this pop-up. Anyways, so to create a loop cut, I simply press Control R, scroll up to create more loop cuts. So I think I need about four loop cuts for this, and two loop cuts horizontally. Okay, and I need two loop cuts on this side. And let's press GG just to move it a little bit to the left. And that should be good. Now I'm just going to, uh, let's just turn off the ghost mode again. What, what is this called? Limit selection. Let's just turn off limit selection again. Alt right click this loop and GG just to move it to the side a bit. And Alt left click this one, GG to move it to the side a bit. Okay, I'm just going to Alt right click this one, GG to move it down. Alt right click, GG to move it up. And that's going to be GG to move it down maybe and that's going to be our the size of our windows so now I can go into face select mode by clicking that and then just right click select shift right click this shift right click this to select those three faces press X and delete those faces only okay so now we've created windows into our tiny little room so let's just tap out of edit mode and now what I want to do is I want to position my camera inside the room Okay, control zero to go into the camera view, RXX to uh, rotate up, and maybe just move the camera out. Maybe I, I want a wider angle so I can see more of the room. So I'm just going to change the focal length of this to say something like 25. And that looks good. RZ just to move it around. And yeah, we captured most of the room right there. I'm just going to add in random objects into this room. Okay, so now I have my basic scene set up. So if I press render now, it doesn't look like a realistic indoor light. So let's go ahead and create now our indoor lights. So for this I want to use area lamps. So shift A lamp area and now let's rotate it uh, on the X axis RX90 minus which will move the lighting towards our room. And let's now increase the size of our area lamp. Oh, sorry, I have to change this from Blender Render to Cycles Render. We don't we don't use Blender Render anymore. Or well, I think it is still used, but uh, it's not active in development. Cycles tend to be more popular, so let's stick with that. Uh, let's increase the size of our um, outdoor light. Something like that. Go to three and move it. Move the light so that it covers the window like so. And it's obviously very high, so I want to change this from a square to a rectangle and increase the Y to fit the window almost completely. Grab Z and then increase the Y a bit more so that just about covers everything. Alright, so that looks good. Um, Yep, so now I'm just going to maybe use a nodes and I want to 
I'll give it a slight bluish color so we have a bit of that uh, sky lighting coming through and that should be good instead of pressing shift D I'm now gonna press alt D X so what this means it does duplicate the object but all the properties here are shared so alt D X uh, RZ 90 and move this back in here so what that means uh, uh, I grab X move it in grab Y so what this means is um, if I change the strength here to say 50 then this all should also have a strength of 50 and this one as well so that so that's actually pretty flexible and that it allows me to customize all the lights by just changing the settings on one of those lights so let's have a look at render now and the lighting is a lot less strong we probably don't want it to be that strong as well so maybe I'll keep it to something like 20 to keep it looking realistic that now simulates a more realistic looking light we can also use real world lights as well so I'm just going to go to the use nodes and just for the sky I'm just going to give it yet again another blue color a very light blue color you can put in an actual image texture there but I'm not going to be bothered to do that so <laughs> I'm just going to keep it at that and that now creates our outdoor sky lighting let's just add a sun lamp into our scene to create sunlight so shift a add lamp sun and let's move the sun lamp to be coming into our room let's say at this angle like that okay the lamp will have a yellow color just like last time and a pretty strong strength 2.5 and relatively See, that's, that should be about maybe half of that, maybe. Oops. And let's see how that looks when rendered. Yep, so we're now getting a bit of that sun lamp. Uh, maybe we can make it uh, a little bit less sharper than that. I mean, a little bit more sharper than that. 0 0.05. Uh, 0.03. All right, so we can see a bit of sun lamp coming through. The world is also contributing light into the room as well, which is not good. Change the sun lamp to be much stronger, like 10. But then, um, let me turn down the exposure of your actual render to 0.5 because we don't want that much light coming through. So, there you go. Obviously not the best looking room you've ever seen, but you can obviously see the potential of uh, indoor lighting using Blender. So even though we have a pretty hideous looking room, we can see how much of an impact lighting has on a 3D scene. I hope you found this video useful and let me know if you would like more in-depth tutorials regarding lighting. I can definitely work on those in the future. Uh, keep blending and I hope to see you in the next video.